Hello doctors, welcome back to Dr. Akhilesh Med Talks. These are the QR codes. You can access the PDFs anytime in the Telegram channel. So let's start our topic now. In virology chapter, I, I started the DNA viruses already. If you didn't watch that video, please try to watch it before watch this. Under DNA viruses, I already completed the HSV 1 and 2. And today I am dealing with the HHV 3. That means human herpes virus 3. That was nothing but, I hope everyone listened this this word. That was varicella joster. Varicella joster is nothing but chicken pox. It has various stages of evolution. Okay. Let me write it. Various stages of evolution. That means it has ulcers, blisters and papules. All together you can see in the same person. This is the type of lesion I described it first. And let's say how you gonna get the chicken pox. What is the mode of transmission? See by inhalation of the aerosols. Means the transmission is, is by inhalation of aerosols. It's not related to any god, okay? Please remember this. It is due to inhalation of aerosols. And you know, each and every disease has its own incubation period. Incubation period means the patient was already having the disease, but uh, it doesn't show up any symptoms, okay? This is an asymptomatic period. So, IP means incubation period. Incubation period is around 2 to 3 days to 15 days in this period you don't get any symptoms okay and let's just discuss a, a few words about an uh, lesion of the chicken pox chicken pox lesion you can see on unilateral or bilateral side see always chicken pox doesn't involve on only one side whole body is involved okay it is lesion is bilateral and first it starts at the face region starts at face and trunk so this is the type of lesion in the chicken box and the rash is like uh, whenever you see the lesion of the chicken box it has central petal kind of like central there was a depression that is centripetal centripetal rash so this is all about the rash and this rash is always associated with fever in chicken pox patients okay and i'm going to tell you one more hint how to differentiate between the smallpox and varicella joster smallpox has single type of lesion it don't have ulcers, blisters and all the things in the single person. If one person is having smallpox, he is only having, if he, let's say if he is only having ulcer, like whole the body he is having ulcers only. He don't have blisters and papules. Let's say if the smallpox patient, he is having only blisters and he is only having blisters all over the body. He don't have other type of rash. Okay. But in varicella joster, there are various stages of the lesion. Let's say if the person starts with the papules, and some, some days happens, after that he develops blisters and after some more days, he, he gonna get the ulcers. So all this kind of different various stages of pattern of lesion is seen in chicken pox, not in small pox. I'm going to write the same thing, small pox and chicken pox. Small pox has same stage. See, S for S, small pox, and same stage and chicken pox this is varicella right varicella has various stages various stages of lesions there will be present and 
after this we are going to discuss the complications let's say each and every disease has its own complications and here also the varicella zoster has a complications the first complication is ray syndrome ray syndrome is if uh, a chicken pox person if he takes the aspirin he gonna get the fatty liver disease okay that is ray syndrome i'm going to write the complications first is complications in that the first one is race syndrome it means fatty liver dt means due to use of aspirin if a child takes aspirin he gonna get race syndrome okay the second most complication is congenital varicella syndrome uh, this this gonna occur in the if it occurs in the first trimester in pregnancy and what are the symptoms you gonna see in the Ch uh, child who is going to be born he will be suffering with microcephaly microcephaly means a small head cephaly small head microcephaly limb hypoplasia and cicatricial skin lesions like uh, on the head or scalp he is having a uh, patchy kind of uh, hair loss that was uh, skin skin lesion will be there that is cicatricial skin lesion third complications is if a pregnant lady get chicken pox near like 5 days i, I could say 5 days 5 days before delivery and 2 days after delivery and child going to get child going to get neonatal varicella neonatal varicella means it is an severe form of chicken pox see this is the chicken pox lesion i am going to name it if the patient's immune system goes low this uh, this varicella is going to reactivate right it is going to reactivate and it gonna cause shingles and i am going to write the same thing but you know how to differentiate between the chicken pox and the shingles let's say the age group age group it occurs at the old age shingles occurs at old age chicken pox occurs at young age and shingles there was an dermatomal distribution let's say it is only unilateral shingles but chicken pox like there are various stages of lesions that occurs all over the body and there was an uniform pattern of distribution but here in shingles it is only particularly distributed only up to one particular dermatome only okay i'm going to show you the image don't worry and i'm going to write it first now we are going to discuss the shingles the same virus is causing that but it is reactivating okay it is staying in our body but it is again re reactivating and it is causing the shingles and here shingles shingles it is only one sided lesion okay it is single sided lesion that we gonna call it as unilateral unilateral lesion 
involving single dermatome okay this occurs at adulthood age occurs at adulthood okay and this is due to reactivation of varicella zoster virus okay and how we are going to treat this treatment is please don't give both of them it is only only one is enough okay a sai clover 800 mg it is for five times for one week and valcyclovir valcyclovir or this is od that means one time 1000 mg for one week see here the lesion lesion is distributed only to particular dermatome it is unilateral it is only one side it is distributed to only single dermatome if you see this image in the example please try to mark it as shingles that was caused by varicella zoster due to the reactivation it is seen in the adulthood okay shingles here the complications is also very important and uh, first complication is first one is post herpetic neuralgia neuralgia means a nerve pain post herpetic neuralgia that means a pain due to the nerve damage and for that we are going to treat with gabapentin or pregabalin or prega balin and the next complications is zoster ophthalmicus zoster ophthalmicus in the name itself you can see ophthalmicus means it is something related to eye let's say it is involving ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve usually has an three branches ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular it is affecting the ophthalmic branch that means there was some like uh, eye pain will be there that's how it is going to present and patient presents with eye pain okay because of an ophthalmic branch involvement of the trigeminal nerve it involves ophthalmic branch of tri geminal nerve okay and the third most important complication is ramsey hunt syndrome for sure you are going to get the question from this please try to remember this point ramsey hunt syndrome here it is going to affect geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve you know facial nerve there was innervation to the facial muscles so if this was affected it gonna cause facial muscle paralysis and it gonna have some ear problem as well please remember these two points it is going to affect the facial muscles and this is gonna cause facial muscle paralysis and it is also going to cause ear problem okay there was a problem with the hearing as well and it is involving in was geniculate ganglion of facial nerve and by that it is going to cause facial ms means muscle paralysis and ear problems so by this uh, we completed the topic and uh, as you know i'm going to revise everything together in the same video so please try to revise with me 
So first I started the DNA viruses. In the DNA viruses, today we are going to discuss HHV, human herpes virus type 3 that was an varicella zoster. First, whenever the lesions, whenever it comes to chicken pox, we are going to discuss what type of lesion is this, how like uh, the pattern of lesion, how it gonna spread and how it gonna cause the lesion. Okay, the, there was in various stages of evolution. In in varicella zoster, in the chicken pox, you can see the ulcers and blisters and papules. All these three kind of vari various forms of lesion can be seen in the same person. And it was transmitted by aerosols. And it has an incubation period of 2 to 3, three days or to 15 days. And what is the type of lesion? Like it is an bilateral, like it can be spread on uh, both sides of the body and it has an uniform distribution and there was in various stages of evolution, evolution will be there. There was in various stages of evaluation. And it, it also presents with the fever as well. Okay, and it starts at the face and trunk and it spreads all over the body. And there are some complications like if the child is suffered with the chicken pox, if he takes the aspirin and it, he is having the fatty liver, then that was called as an Rice syndrome. And there was some congenital varicella syndrome. If for the pregnant lady in the first trimester, she was affected with the chicken pox, then her uh, neonate, her uh, baby gonna present with us and microcephaly and limb hypoplasia and cicatricial skin lesions. And if the lady is, like if the lady is uh, suffered with the chicken pox nearby the delivery date, let's say if the lady suffered with the chicken pox before five days of the delivery or two days after the delivery, like a child is going to have neonatal varicella. It is a severe form of chicken pox. And we finished with the chicken pox. I show you the chicken pox lesion already. Here, these are the chicken pox lesions. And please try to remember the image as well. If you're gonna get the image question, please try to answer that. And there was a shingles. Shingles, this is a one-sided lesion and it is only involving the single side and it is it is an single dermatomal distribution. It has only single dermatomal distribution. Uh, please try to remember this image. You know, you know, like the patient, whenever the patient comes to clinic, this is how the same way the patient is going to present. And it occurs at the adulthood. This is due to the reactivation of the varicella. Varicella stays in our uh, own body in uh, latent times and uh, it's going to reactivate whenever the immune system goes down at the adulthood at the age of 45 to 50 years. And for that, uh, we are going to treat with the acyclovir that was 800 mg for 5 times in a week. And valcyclovir and uh, OD that was 1000 mg for uh, one week. We are going to give it as a treatment so patient feels better. And uh, complications is post herpetic neuralgia there was a like nerve will be damaged so that's why there was a neuralgia pain so that we are going to treat with the gabapentin and pregabalin or else and it also has a complication of joster ophthalmicus it involves the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve so it there was a problem with the in the name itself you can see the ophthalmicus ophthalmicus means there was a pain pain in the eye okay and there was a third complication this is the most important complication please try to remember this Ramsey Hunt syndrome involves the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve. It involves the facial muscle paralysis. Okay, and it also causes the ear problems. So this is all about this video, and uh, I'm going to continue the herpes in the next coming videos as well. And uh, so thanks for your patience for listening my videos. And if you find any difficulty while watching the videos, please try to put it in the if it, if you feel it as and fast or it as and slow, please try to adjust the speed in the video session and. Uh, Thank you, thank you again for watching my videos. Bye-bye.